you're watching PlayStation Zone, and this is the dash dashboard of my PlayStation. So, why? It's because there's been an update for the PlayStation 4, and it's update 350. So, oh, did I get that right, 350? Did I? Let's just quickly... Ch yes, I did. I got it right. So, what is the, what is one of the new changes? Well, it is this. The, it's slightly delayed, but you can now get notifications for your PlayStation friends. So, how does this set this up? Well, you go into your settings and then notifications. And then you get to choose which friends you want to actually include in this. So you don't keep on getting like constant friend requests from everybody. So yeah, I just selected a few of mine. Sorry if you're not on the list. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's that thing. Another thing is events. You can now create your own event. Now, I've already created an event. Oh. I don't think that's... What? There we go. And... Okay. <laughs> there we go. So that... Hopefully when it gets to, like, that time, it will log me in but uh, yeah who knows should be two now there we go 11.45 it's now 11.34 so I've got quite a while to go so a bit of rambling on another change is probably not in here whatsoever not in there yet you can also set your online status to appear offline which is actually quite handy if you don't want to be bothered by anybody. Probably. Yeah. But anyway, that's that one. There's been no changes in trophies as far as I'm no. That's I am actually doing this live recording. I ain't gonna be like editing it or that because I just can't be bothered. I mean it's just like, I eh, just deal with it. So let me bring up the PlayStation blog webby page. I've already gone through that. Oh, how the hell can I forget about that? It is remote play. Yeah, remote play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're probably going, yeah, well, I got remote play for. PS Vita and I've got it on my phone so whoop no this is remote play through your PC it is for Windows 8.1 Windows 10 or later operating OS 10 10.10 .10, OS 10 10.11 ain't a uh, ain't an Apple aficionado so if I said that wrong sorry um, you'll be able to do you hey? no. yeah. you'll be able to do your re resolution options for it is 360p 540p 720p and the default is set to 540p frame rate is is standard 30 frames per second or high which is 60 frames per second the default setting is standard, so you're going to have to play with that a bit to get your settings right. You can use a DualShock 4 as a remote controller for remote play, which needs to be connected to your PC or Mac via USB cable. Oh, yes. Let's go into this. Daily Motion has been added to a live from PlayStation. 
So, ta-da! So, let's have a look. There you go. Top right corner. YouTube, Twitch, Ustream, Daily Motion. So, say hello, everybody. <laughs> So, yeah, that is pretty darn good. Now, how long have I got? I got... Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> now, creating an event is quite simple. Just go into the yard, da 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 Select the auto description, two hours, blah, blah, blah. And then you just click create. I mean, that's pretty darn simple. I mean, you got. I really want to see if this actually does actually automatically load up. So how do I do? So yeah. <laughs> so what else can you do here? You can also. Oh, you can't. Not that. Uh... <laughs> right. You can also... Okay, I thought you... <laughs> I thought you could, like, share activities from your friends, but obviously... You can't. Eh? Okay, I really was thinking. Um, ch -ch -ch. Oh, that's different. We've moved the refresh button. So you can just press triangle wherever now. Has anybody on my friends list done a video? Come on. Come on, guys, don't let me down. <laughs> let me just quickly load something from this. Let's see. Okay, I just like shared something then. So let's see if it pops up on here. Is it going to pop up? Come on. There we go, we found it. So I can actually just click share and and then share activity. So yeah, there we go. This is absolute blunder of a video. Comment. And obviously you can There we go. <laughs> you don't get a notification on your account though. That's yeah. So you can't keep tabs on whether it's been shared or not. You just have to keep on clicking into it. Yeah. Oh, 42. Is this going to test? This is because what it should do. It should like literally. 
put me into it should load the game and put me into uh well it should load the game on both of them really and put us into like a party automatically so we'll see still got to get some trophies for metal gear solid So what else is there? Because it's apart from remote play and oh, there is one thing I have noticed, and it is this new option here: sharing and broadcasts. You can now do a 30 second clip, select from 30 seconds, a minute, three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, or 15 minutes. What can you do? Let's go. Let me pull that back to JPEG because PNG is a hard drive killer. Also, oh, we've just done the broadcast settings in there. Include microphone in audio. Include microphone audio in video clips. Include microphone audio from the headset or PlayStation camera when recording gameplay. Wow, that is a that's a was that in the last one? I don't think so. That one's a new one. Share party audio, video clips, and broadcast will include all audio from the players in the party voices to be shared. This overrides the settings in four include microphone. Audio and video clips and include microphone audio and broadcasts. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. I can actually get my voice on like my little like fifteen minute videos. Like, oh my god, this is so awesome. And my cat's come to annoy me. What? Let's see what else is in here. Not a lot. I mean... So let's, let's see. I'm going to put the controller down. Okay, yeah. Join an events party. Alright, done that. Both in there. So. Bam, 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 bam. So, so does that mean that it's for as if your PlayStation's is switched off? <laughs> it's just come to the PlayStation Store for that. When I've already got it in. Really? I ain't got a clue what... My... What is my... <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, there we go, that's the event. It's actually, it's actually doing something. There's quite a few. It's probably, it's probably got the usual, like, oh yeah, by the way, we've done this, this and this to the system software. 
Well, yeah. Remote play for your PC. I wonder how many people will be using a capture card through the PC now. Definitely to cut down on some wires though. Definitely cut down some wires for me as well. If it works. So, yeah. That is pretty sweet. So. So it doesn't exactly put you into like a party straight away. It just like says, oh, there's an event starting. So whether it's supposed to like be from like a cold start, like in standby, in power saving mode, should I, I should call it. So yeah, maybe it's that. Maybe it is. So, yeah. On that bombshell, I've been Jason Hall. You've been watching PlayStation Zone. This has been update three. Well, the worst <laughs> update for <laughs> PlayStation software ever. Let's just face it. So, yeah. So, how do you delete the event? Let's see. Edit. End event. There we go. So, you can actually just end the event. Uh -huh. So you can duplicate it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. I've been Jason Orvis. It's been the worst bloody um, recap video for PlayStation 4's update 350. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.